Hey guys, and welcome to another Sonically Sound video. Today, we're going to be going over noise gating. Noise gating is primarily used to get a good tight sound on drums, like a snare or a tom. It's also used to get rid of background sound while still keeping the louder sounds in. We're going to use the example of toms today, because um, that's what I have here. So you see I've turned everything off. We'll go to noise gate, so it's in dynamics, and then it sits at the bottom there. So then uh, you've got some controls here. You might not kind of understand what it all means, but basically uh, the one the things you need to know are open and close. That basically tells us if the gate is open or closed. Open means that sound is coming through and closed means that there's no sound coming through. Um, and the other ones are, well, the other one is threshold. So threshold um, is currently sent to minus 50 dB. That basically means that the only thing that's going to go through is sound source louder than minus 50 dB. So anything quieter than minus 50 dB won't go through. Um, if we ever listen to what the tom sounds like anyway, I'll just turn off the gate so we can hear what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like and you can see actually here that the waveform is quite loud so it's probably going to come through anywhere minus 50 dB but just to give you an example um, I'm going to set the threshold to 0 dB basically what that means is anything louder than 0 dB is going to go through and um, on Logic or any digital mixing console um, it's not nothing's going to get louder than 0 dB that's just impossible so if I play it now you can see that it came up and said it was closed and that's because nothing's getting louder than uh, 0 dB what I like to do um, to get my tight tom sound is I'll start at 0 dB basically so it's completely closed and then just slowly bring it back until I feel that the um, the noise gate is starting to work so you slowly pull it back until you think eventually oh yep that's right that's the sound that's the sound I want um, so yeah I'll just give you an example of that so that's quite good however if you remember what the Tom actually sounded like it goes duh 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 whereas that's just going duh 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 um, so we're missing some of the quieter hits on the on the Tom so I'm gonna have to bring it back a bit more there we go so it's got that but the moment it finishes it just cuts it off and it sounds quite nice then and it sounds really tight uh, the other controls are these ones here attack hold and release basically what this does is um, it tells you when the gate starts working so if I had attack on higher than this so three milliseconds is quite quick if I had it really high basically what that means is it's gonna take a while before the gate opens so if I put it on full or nearly full and play it it sounds quieter and the reason for that is is the the sound is being slowly faded in when it opens so you can see it's taking 81 milliseconds to open and so that's quite a while so it's slowly fading in which isn't really what you want but if you're going for a typical use of a noise gate, typically you kind of just want it at 3 milliseconds. The default is fine. Um, it just needs to be quick. Now, the other two are... So release is similar, but it's the reverse. So it's how long until it closes again. So if you've opened the gate with a sound source and then it goes below the threshold, so it's going to close again. Rather than it quickly closing, it's going to take some time. So it's set to 10 milliseconds, but that's pretty good. Um, but if I set it to that, let's have a listen. And you can see when I did that, the open and close lights were slowly fading into each other rather than just on and off. 
Um, so you can kind of fade it out as well if you want, if you're kind of wanting a more gradual fade, that works really well. And sometimes you want that if you've got a tom sound that goes on for a very long time. You don't want to cut it straight off because it might sound unnatural. Now hold is sort of like release, but different. So release fades out the sound. So once it goes below the threshold, it then fades it out. So it goes back to zero dB um, or minus infinity dB. So what hold does is it's kind of like release, but it basically holds the signal. So the release will, once it goes below the threshold, once the sound source is below the threshold, the volume will slowly decrease to in minus infinity dB. What hold does is slightly different. Basically, the hold will hold um, the gate open before it goes below the threshold. So when a sound source goes below the threshold, rather than just turning off, the hold holds it open. So it's saying once it goes below the threshold, I'm going to hold it open for 40 milliseconds. So if I had it on full, which is a thousand milliseconds, it would hold it open that long and probably what would end up happening is the gate would constantly be open which would defeat the point of the gate. So you can see there that it was basically holding it open for a really long time. Again the setting that it's normally on uh, 50 is fine or 40 yeah it works perfectly fine on 40 or 50 um but you just gotta just gotta experiment a bit see how it sounds and you know there's not a right way of doing it so just keep trying until you think it sounds right um it's really up to you so that's one use of noise gating um this is a more creative style that i'm going to show you now it's called side chaining basically what side chaining is is you can attach an audio signal to the noise gate so it open and closes to the sound of the um, that instrument and then you can use that on another instrument to open and close the sound so I'm going to show you an example using a guitar so if I can find the guitar in this track I've got quite a lot of tracks So that's pretty good there. Um, so that's a nice guitar sound. However, uh, I'm just going to use it to show you how um, how noise gates side chains work. So I'm just going to pan that centrally. Um, so it's the exact same way you go dynamics noise gate. It's the same tool. You'll see there's this side chain point up here basically what you do is you select the sound source that you want to side chain to it uh, we're going to use the tambourine because it's going to sound quite nice it goes and that's going to be quite open close open close um, which might be quite fun to try so then you do the exact same thing as you would with a noise gate you start at 0 dB and then just slowly let it in until you think the guitar rhythm sounds quite cool so let's give that a try. So that sounds quite good um, with it kind of cutting in and out and it sounds quite groovy. However, um, it's coming in quite quickly and com coming out quite quickly as well. Um, and so that's where the attack hold release tools come in. So I can kind of mess around with these so that it sounds a bit more natural um, and not so start stop. So let's give that a try.
So that's how you can do that. It, sa it sounds maybe a bit more natural, but maybe you like it um, how it was with the kind of really sudden start stop. Um, and that's totally fine as well. Um, again, this is a style thing or a creative thing. So it's really up to you how you do it. Um, you can do it however you like. You can experiment. The best thing to do really is try it with as many things as you can until you think you've got a sound that you like or you get the hang of it. Um, this video would have been helpful, but really you need to practice it yourself. Yeah, so that's how noise gating works. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you want any other videos on here covered on Logic Pro, then please put it in the comments. Uh, if there's enough comments about it, I'll try and get to it. Uh, be sure to watch some other videos that are applicable. We've done some other ones on compression and stuff like that, so that's really useful. And yeah, just remember to subscribe and see you guys later.